Um, this is pretty amazing. So this is a rare find then? Well, that's if it's real. 400, I'm looking online, this thing's worth $1,000. Were you able to sell it to your computer? A guy brought in an extremely rare 1861 half eagle. That is, if it's one of the few minted in North Carolina. So I called in my coin guy, Mike, to take a closer look, just to make sure it's not a counterfeit. What's up, Brick? 1861 Charlotte. That's a rare one. 1861 Philadelphia. There was over 700,000 of those. We're talking five, 600 bucks. Uh, with a C, we're talking a whole lot more. 20 times as much. That's good news. It's yes. great news. Yes, absolutely. So this is a rare find then? Well, that's if it's real. I'd like to take a look at the uh, mint mark and- no, uh, Absolutely. Okay. How's it look? After looking at it, yes, I believe that it is a uh, authentic Charlotte that's, minted coin. That's awesome, Kay. awesome news. So what's it worth? You could get about 15,000 for wow. this coin. All right, beat it, Mike. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. No, hey, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Good luck, guys. What do you, what do you want to do? 7,500 bucks. Mm, no, 12. I think you'll do just fine. I still have to send this off. Things can pop up when I send it off. I end up assuming all the risk. Let's somewhat split the difference. About 95. I'll go eight grand, not a penny more. I'm good. Hey, Grant. All right. Good doing business. Come on, man. I'll write you up. You got it. All right. Thank you. How are you? I'm oh, pretty good. I have a coin from the Byzantine Empire I'd like to sell. Um, this is pretty amazing. Where in the world did you get this? I actually bought a group of books from an antique store a while back. And in one of them, that was actually inside the spine. How much you want for it? I was thinking about 1900 I'll give you like 800 bucks for it. Nah, that's, that's a little bit too low. I mean, that's right. about 1,000 years old. Can you do like 16? I'll go 1,100 bucks. 11? Yeah, I guess we can do 11. Okay, 1,100 bucks. All right, I'll meet you right over there. My go-to guy for ancient coins, Dave, is here to give me a grade and a price. Hey, man. How you been? Good. Here's the coin. Ah, it's fantastic. This is a coin of the Byzantine Emperor Constantine IX. He's on the reverse and Jesus Christ is on the obverse, the front. So is it the real deal or? Looks good. Big question, what's it worth? These are not always worth what people might think they are. Okay. I see these going typically in the marketplace today for between 700 and $1,000 in this condition. That's it? It should be worth thousands. And I think you just ran into a market that at present is terribly undervalued. <sighs> All right, not the news I was exactly looking for. Lesson learned, I'll call you next time. Yeah, call me first. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Thank you. What you got? It's an 1874 chop mark trade dollar. So where'd you get this at, man? Actually, I got it at a uh, coin trade show in California a few years back up in San Francisco. Okay. The whole reason these things came about is because China and a bunch of other countries in Asia, they didn't like our currency. When we would go over there and trade with them, but believe it or not, they actually liked the Mexican peso more because it had more silver in it. We started making these, we put a little bit more silver in them, so they would actually prefer these over the Mexican peso. They would take them and they would take a little tool and they'd put a chop mark in it. And that's how they kind of tested their silver in them. They were never meant to get into the hands of normal consumers in the United States. But what ended up happening is, is you know, Silver prices started to really fall, so China threw all their old trade dollars on some ships, brought them into the United States, and traded them for gold. Okay. So what do you want to do with it, man? It's time to sell it. All right, um, I'd be willing to give you around 400 bucks for it. 400? I'm looking online, this thing's worth $1,000. Were you able to sell it to your computer? I mean, can you come off that little bit? Like, at least 800. I'll go like 450, man. 750. The problem is, is it's chop marked. There's a big debate on whether or not a chop mark is just part of the coin's history or if it's just damage that was done to the coin by the Chinese government. Uh, that being said, the most I'm gonna go is 500 bucks, dude. Well, $500. 500. Come with me, we'll write you up.